friends, I welcome you once again to the fourth day of our program. What does the Bible has for us today? Before we know that, let us take the face of the Lord in prayer. Our Father, we hope that you unravel the hidden truth of the Torah today for us, that we might learn unto salvation in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, the third commandment as we have in the scriptures is, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. You see, friends, this is one of the commandments that has to do with our relationship with God. God says in this very commandment that we should not use any of his name in vain. One of the days I shared one of my videos with a friend of mine, and I told this person to share my videos with her friends. Now, she told me something that is very true, and that was that um, that actually people are not much interested to hear the word of God, that they prefer to watch jokes and comedies. And that is very true. You see, in our generation, most young people enjoy watching comedies, jokes, and things that will get them laughing, things that will entertain them, so to say. And so they rather watch those things than to spend time watching or listening to things that will spiritually edify them. I concur with what she told me because I have already personally understood, I have seen that this is what is prevalent in our generation today. Young people don't want to listen to the word of God. They rather take the name of God in vain through these comedies. Now I will share a story with you. Some years ago, I was passing through one particular street and I overheard a comedian saying that he, the comedian, saw one drug addict. And the drug addict was taking cigarettes. And so why a preacher was telling the drug addict to stop taking cigarettes, that the drug addict told the pastor, um, why should he stop? After all, the one he smokes and blows up, who takes them? Is it not God that is taking the one, the smoke of the cigarette that he smokes up? You see, that for me is blasphemy. And most people take it for granted. God is not one that we can use to joke. It's one of the challenges we have. One of the challenges we have in our generation today is that God is not like Lucifer that will strike us dead immediately we, we, we break any of his commandments. The Bible told us in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, that God is not willing that anyone will perish, but that all will come unto repentance. That is long suffering, willing that all will come unto repentance. And that we have taken for granted. We need to come back to God and stop taking the name of God in vain. Most of the times you see young people saying, Oh my gosh, oh jeez. And that means, oh my God, or oh Jesus Christ. You see, God or the scripture made us understand that at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every thumb shall confess that Jesus is Lord. How then would you want that name to work for you when you are in trouble, when you have already played with that same name? We need to take caution. We need to take precaution. We need to go against anything that will lead us to belittling God through our comedies, our jestings and jokes. All things that would make us to take the name of God in vain should be avoided in the life of all Christians and all in the life of all who believes in the decalogue as stated in the scriptures. God said we should not take his name in vain. Why? Because that name is more powerful above every other name that is in this universe. And so as we heed to these words of instruction, as we heed to this commandment and not suggestion, I believe that God will give it to you. And so today, friends, when we, when we listen and heed to the commandments of God, Deuteronomy chapter 28 makes us to understand that the blessings of God will follow you. And I believe that by God's special grace, the blessings of God will follow you in full measure. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Thank you.